In this lecture, we will continue with hex meshing in HyperMesh and we are going to work on an interesting project of meshing of a spherical profile. Let's say we have a ball or any sphere. We need to understand how can we do the mesh of this. So first of all, let me create the body. So to create a sphere, we need a center node. So here I will go to node, go to XYZ, here insert 000 or any coordinate system, create. Press F for the fit and then here go to solid, go to sphere, sphere with center and radius. So this node will be center and radius, let's say I'm making a bigger circle. So let's so let's say this value is 100, radius is 100, click on create. Press F. So you can see we have created this sphere. If I click on this wireframe view, you will see that this node is the center of sphere. Let's say if you don't have this center, you can find the center also here. Go to node. Here you need to go to this option of arc center. Right now we have lines, so click on this line, create. So this will create a node at the center. Click on return and click on solid view. Here let me change the color for this. So this is let's say I will take this color give it name like this is sphere. Sphere. Okay so I'm going to save it in your hex mesh folder that is for let's say this is sphere. So you can directly access this file. So initially what will we do is we are going to try to rotate the mesh here. So before this we need to split this part because with this we cannot directly rotate this. So let's say I will go to surface edit or solid edit. Go to trim with plane. Here initially I want to trim it with respect to let's say y axis that is zx plane. So select the solid. Here I will select y axis base point will be center of the node, click on trim, solid view. Okay, now you can see the solid is trimmed. I will go to mask option here, select solid, mask this, mask. Okay, now what I will do is I will try to create a mesh on the half part and after that I'm going to rotate that mesh. So for this once again, we need to uh, split this part. So I will go to return. Select the solid. This time we need to trim it with respect to Z axis that is XY plane. So that is Z axis. Select this base point and trim. Okay, so now I can go to mask, click on this and mask. So now I have only this quarter part of this sphere. So onto this quarter part, I'm going to create a mesh and then I will rotate it. So let's give it a try. I will go to 2D. Auto mesh. I will create a new collector here that is that contains the shell element shell. Here go to element to current component. Element size let's say we can take 10. Here select quad. Select this face and mesh. Okay right now I am not worrying about the mesh flow. We can change it later. First let's see how will be the mesh. Click on return. Here click on this shaded element. We can also change this color. Let's say I want pink here. Okay, not this. Light blue. Okay. Now I will rotate this mesh with respect to this vertical axis. For this we have a rotate option. Go to 3D. You will see spin option. And here you will see spin geometry, spin element. We need to go to the spin element. Here axis you can see uh, axis means the axis of revolution. So here you can see this x axis can be our axis of revolution. So select x axis base point will be this. Okay, so select this element by face. Here angle will be 360 degree. I want complete revolution. In this pin, we need to define the number of rows of element we want. Okay, so initially let's say uh, we will take initially 10. Angle will be 90 and spin will be 10 to understand this rows of element. Okay, so now click on spin plus. So you can see it has spin the element in 90 degree. Okay, 10 elements are good here. 
सो क्लिक ऑन रिजेक्ट इंसर्ट थ्री सिक्सटी हेयर एंड हेयर विल बी फोर्टी एंड क्लिक ऑन स्पिन नाउ क्लिक ऑन रिटर्न नाउ यू कैन गो टू अनमास्क ऑल टू अनमास्क ऑल द ज्योमेट्री हेयर आई विल सेलेक्ट मिक्सड सो हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैव क्रिएटेड ए हेक्स मैच इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी द मैश फ्रॉम इन साइड सो हेयर यू कैन सी द मैश हेयर ओके ऑल द मैश हैज गॉन इन साइड दिस शेल एलिमेंट सो इट हैज मिक्सड ऑफ टू डी एंड थ्री डी सो हेयर यू विल गो टू मास्क फर्स्ट लेट मी मास्क वन सॉलिड हेयर एंड देन आई विल गो टू मास्क एलिमेंट होल्ड डाउन द शिफ्ट की लेफ्ट क्लिक ऑफ द माउस होल्ड डाउन ड्रैक द माउस एंड देन मास्क सो फ्रॉम इन साइड यू कैन सी द एलिमेंट्स आर गोइंग टू बी लाइक दिस सो इफ आई क्लिक ऑन वायर फ्रेम यू कैन सी हियर द एलिमेंट्स आर वेरी स्मॉल सो दैट इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम ओके एंड आई विल क्लिक ऑन रिटर्न आई विल सेलेक्ट आर मास्क ऑल बट वेन वी गो टू एफ टेन गो टू एफ टेन फ्रॉम द की बोर्ड यू विल गो टू एलिमेंट क्वालिटी हेयर यू कैन सी वॉर पेज हेयर यू कैन सी वॉर पेज विच इज वेरी लेस एस्पेक्ट अगेन एस्पेक्ट इज वेरी हाई विच इज समेर क्लोज टू एट बट द प्रॉब्लम इज स्क्यूनेस यू कैन सी दीज एलिमेंट्स आर वेरी हाईली स्क्यूड एलिमेंट यू कैन सी दिस स्क्यूनेस एंगल शुड बी लेस देन सिक्सटी समटाइम्स वी कैन टेक सेवेंटी इन मैनी केसेस बट दीज टाइप्स ऑफ एलिमेंट आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड वी नेवर वॉन्ट दीज टाइप्स ऑफ एलिमेंट मिनिमम लेंथ यू कैन सी इट्स समवेर क्लोज टू वन विच इज वेरी लेस बिकॉज द एवरेज एलिमेंट साइज इज टेन maximum length here you can see it is somewhere close to 15 that is good but here you will see the angle angle again it is very less 8.29 it should be at least 20 or 25 similarly in quad okay in quad the angle is good and also you can see these are penta element so the question come how can we mesh this types of part in the next lecture we are going to learn how can we do the meshing of is feel so right now i will click on return